As droves of people fleeing conflict continue to arrive in their thousands, could new funds for Syria and Africa, along with a strengthened partnership with Turkey, help turn the tide against the migration phenomenon? It's time to find out. Welcome to the agenda. EU leaders warn that there are no quick fixes, but could the migrant crisis really last a generation? At the mini plenary in Brussels, MEPs will vote on a finance package for Africa worth 1.8 billion euros and for Syria half a billion euros to help tackle the root causes of migration along with providing humanitarian aid to refugees. It's seen as a gateway to Europe, a transit destination for refugees. So can Turkey be convinced to shore up its poorest border? Over 2 million refugees are being hosted in Turkey already. Matthias Rutte, the European Commission's Director General for Migration and Home Affairs, will be at the Parliament to debate a closer partnership with Turkey and help to stem the flow of migrants bound for Europe. The first few families have now been relocated from Greece to Luxembourg, but Greece still needs a lot more help. 600,000 people have inundated Greece, but its Prime Minister says his country is willing to house tens of thousands more. A hearing is planned on Tuesday and will be attended by the Eurogroup president, Jerome Dijsselbloem, to look at financially supporting Greece better. One word, Spitzenkandidat. The 2014 European elections were different because for the first time they helped choose the president of the European Commission. But could the election process be improved? Ideas being put forward include postal and electronic voting and allowing EU citizens living outside the EU to cast a vote too. Is an energy union just a pipe dream? On Tuesday, the Industry Research and Energy Committee will vote to push for an integrated energy market and also for the diversification of supply, thereby boosting security. And that's all we have for this agenda. Take care and enjoy the week.